On June 2nd, pedestrian overpass collapsed in Baku. The accident happened in Baku Salian Highway near Sheikh area. Rare to note that from the pictures of the overpass posted on social networks a day before the accident, it was evident that it linked several villas of unknown owners with the Sheikh beach. An interesting question emerged here. Was the pedestrian overpass constructed with the state funds or the owners of those unknown villas built it for their own purposes? Note that after the image caused the resonance on social networks, on June 2nd, the overpass collapsed as a result of the accidental collision with a truck-mounted crane. Consequently, the overpass fell down on the truck. The employees of the Minister of Emergency coming to the scene pulled out the truck driver out of the truck. According to the Sabal District Police Office information, due to the overpass collapse, six people were injured. On June 3rd, parents of soldier Nurlan Aliyev held a press conference at the press center of the Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety in connection with the health of their son. Paul Aliyev, father of the soldier, said he had sent his son to the military service quite healthy from the Asura Regional Military Registration and Enlistment Office in January 2014. Nurlan Aliyev initially served in Ganja, but in February he was moved to a military unit in Gedebe region. In April, when Polad Aliyev visited his son, he found him sick with jaundice, having high temperature and coughing. Father claimed that despite his son's condition, he wasn't provided with medical aid. Polad Aliyev blamed the doctor Gafar for his son's deteriorating health. By the consent of the military service leadership, Polad Aliyev succeeded in the health check of his son at Ganja Hospital. The results showed that Nurlan Aliyev was infected with the hepatitis B. Following this, he was sent to Baku for the treatment. He is being treated at the infectious disease department of the hospital. Sevda Aliyev, a mother of the soldier, stated that the reason of his son's current condition is the negligence in the military unit and ill-treatment by his fellow soldiers. On June 4, Azerbaijan without political prisoners public alliance held a conference at the media center of the Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety on the theme of political prisoners' problem in Azerbaijan, current state and realities. A sharp increase in arrests, persecution and repression against socially active people was noted at the conference. Arrest of NIDA activists, bloggers, Rauf Mirkaderov, NGO chief Emil Mamadov, and persecution of human rights defender Leila Yunus and her spouse Arif Yunus, NGO chief Matant Ezo, were decried. On June 5, preliminary hearing was held on the case of human rights activist head of the Ganja-based intelligence at the Enlightenment Center, Hassan Husseinli, in Ganja State Nizami District Court, Husseinli told the Objective TV. He noted that the trial was appointed to June 13. Note that Husseinli is charged with stabbing his neighbor Arzu Gahramanov. Ganja State Main Police Office has opened a criminal case under Article 221.3 of the Criminal Code, hooliganism committed with the use of weapon. A restraining order has been imposed on Husseinli, which requires him not to leave his town, of residents without permission while under investigation. On June 5 and 6, Boko appealed court throughout the appeal against a bail district court decision filed by the journalist Raf Mirkaderov, who is charged with treason. Ibrahim Lenveransky, investigator of the General Prosecutor's Office, prohibited Raf Mirkaderov's contact with his family and access to phone and newspapers over the detention period at the Minister of National Security custody. The defense therefore appealed to the Sabahil District Court and requested the court to recognize violation of Mirkaderov's rights by the facility leadership, but the court didn't grant the request. Defense complained to the appeal court against Judge Raf Ahmadov's conduct. Judge Gadim Babayev didn't grant the appeal. Lawyer Elmar Suleymanov noted that in June 6 proceedings, he filed a motion for the conduct of handwriting examination to find out whether the investigator's decision was authentic or counterfeit, but the judge dismissed the motion. Note that Raf Mirkaderov, correspondent of Baku Bay Zirkula newspaper, was arrested by the MNS employees on April 19 after being deported to Baku from Turkish capital city Ankara, where he had been living since 2010. He is charged under Article 274, Treason of the Criminal Code. Nasimit District Court has ordered him to serve three months of pre-trial detention. On June 6, trial on the case of Facebook actors Omar Mamadov, who is charged with illegal drug dealing, continued in Baku court on grave crimes. The process was presided over by Judge Eldar Mikhailov. Mamadov's lawyer Khalid Bagra filed a motion for inclusion of a copy of Omar Mamadov's correspondence with his parents prior to arrest into the case file. Judge didn't grant the motion. Note that Omar Mamadov is a member of the civil solidarity party and head of the Akhun Youth Movement. After his arrest, he rejoined the Yudah Movement. Mamadov was an active user of social networks. Notably, he was one of the admins of the Facebook page exclusive from Us TV, which shared cartoons, photo collage, and comments, making fun of the official's mistakes. In January of 2014, he was arrested on charge of drug possession.